I would quarantine with... The problem is, I still don't really fancy any of them at the minute. Peggy, Pat, Dot, Cat. Peggy, Pat, Dot, Cat. It's like a girl band. I really love the scene where Pat and Peggy are just tearing chunks out of each other. They're sort of scrapping. I think they're in the kitchen over Frank. That for me is just sort of classic EastEnders. Incredible, you know, being able to come in and have a real nose around the set and the square and sort of soap Walford up. Um, you know, we've all been brought up on it, so yeah, coming back as a grown up uh, feels like a real treat. Oh, if I guest stars on the show, I'd need to get Pally with whoever was in charge of the Vic at that time because it would be my dream to stand behind the bar and pull a pint. <laughs> my nan owned pubs, so I was brought up in pubs, so that would feel like um, I've come full circle. The Slaters I loved, but everyone always says I'm very Patsy Palmer, so I've got options. You're excited to meet all of them because you know, they feel so familiar because you've been watching them for years, in some instances, like decades. <laughs> um, Sharon, Tish, Letitia Dean, completely exceeded expectations. She is such a scream and like such a filthy sense of humour. I you know sometimes you just meet someone and you're sort of instantly very fond of them. I just I thought she was magic. Tony Clay, little Tony, I'm now completely in love with. I thought he was a real gent, and I think if I ever have a son, I would love him to be like Tony. Um, and obviously, yeah, the ongoing obsession with Tish, with Tisha Dean. In terms of my personal favourite episodes, we've got one to come, actually. Um, so yeah, essentially we're talking all things landladies and it's Tish and Kelly Bright together and they are just a scream, like really good fun, very dirty, very naughty. Um, yeah, I had, I had the most brilliant afternoon with a pair of them. Maybe I could quarantine with um, the Carters. Love Kelly. Danny was a dream. The Carters, maybe. Thank you, everyone. Thanks very much, Jean. Guess what I'm going to say for the last time that you're going to hear. So she did something way out.